Coaches should ensure the runway is level and clear of any debris. The pit is deep enough to cushion the landing and long enough to safely handle jumpers distances. The board is flush with the runway. The officials should ensure that the distance of the takeoff board from the pit is appropriate to the level of the athlete. There should be options for younger athletes. Coaches should ensure that the athlete has done sufficient training and is strong enough to handle the impact on landing created during the three phases of the jump. Athletes can start out hopping on the spot. The emphasis should be initially kicking the butt, then bringing the knee forward. They should then combine both while hopping over cones for some distance. The athlete vigorously drives the knee up parallel to the ground. This is combined with the full extension of the ankle, knee and hip of the takeoff leg. The athlete then combines drill number one and drill number two. The athlete will stand on one foot and go through the three phases of the jump and land in the sand. The athlete will gradually add speed to the approach by increasing the number of strides in the drill. All drills must emphasize proper bounding technique and rhythm. The goal of the approach is to generate the maximum amount of speed, which can be converted to vertical lift. The approach may be odd or even numbers. The number of steps should be equal to the age of the athlete. Athletes can get a starting point by walking back two steps for every one running stride. For example, a 12-step approach would be 24 walking strides. Eventually, the athlete should establish a consistent approach which is measured with a tape and used during practice and competition. The jumper's takeoff should be close to the edge of the board to maximize distance. The athlete should have the correct three stride rhythm going into the board. In preparation for the jump, the second last or penultimate step is slightly lengthened. The center of gravity is slightly lowered. There is a flat foot contact on the board with the shoulder slightly behind the hips. As the athlete moves through the hop phase, he should maintain horizontal speed. The free leg drives forcefully forwards and up. The knee of the free leg moves up and forward parallel to the ground. The arms should swing powerfully upward. The foot of the takeoff leg is pulled to the buttocks. The drive leg rotates from in front of the body to behind it. The thigh of the takeoff leg reaches parallel and the lower portion of the leg extends past the knee with the foot dorsiflexed. The leg drives downward for an active landing. In the step phase, the goal is to maintain horizontal speed, control and balance through flight. The drive leg thigh is parallel to the ground. The upper body is erect, out and slightly ahead of the hips. The arms swing powerfully upward and forward. The drive leg extends with the dorsiflexed ankle for an active landing. When moving into the jump phase, the athlete should maintain the chin up, torso erect and tall. The takeoff angle is higher than the other two phases. The free leg drives upward and out. Arms drive forward and upward. Legs are extended for landing. Exercises are very important for athletes. They help athletes to reach their performances, to improve their performances and reach high results, and at the same time to prevent injuries.